morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, welcome, 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 my tipsters. Welcome to Monica's Daily Tips. Thank you guys for coming. Um, y'all, the devil was busy on me last night. I got to tell you guys about it. Thank you, Winston, for sharing me out. Um, I got to tell you guys what happened to me yesterday, last night. Last night, um, we got back from Jamil graduation, and the kids knocked off my, turned off the power strip that goes to the TV and the Wi-Fi. And so, um, and so the, uh, so what ends up happening is my Wi-Fi was off. Like my Wi-Fi was off until like 10 o'clock last night. So thank God. Thank you, God, that I was able to get back. It came back on all of a sudden. I called Comcast, scheduled a service appointment. But thank God it's still work. It's back work up and working. I thought I was not going to be able to do it, but I said I was going to push through it and get and um, just go live from my phone um, because I have data on my phone. So thank God that I'm, the Wi-Fi came back on and I'm able to do this. I have everything ready. So what I'm going to do now, y'all, is I'm going to go ahead and read the daily devotion. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, Okay, so the daily devotion is praise God for all of all his goodness, his gifts to us, for forgiving our sins, for sending us a redeemer when we didn't deserve to be redeemed. I'm doing good, Winston. How are you? You want justice for all your children. You have let us know of your majesty and your kindness to us. Good morning, Joseph and Tremel. How can we ever thank you? We often, we forget to praise and thank you to God. On this day in May, let us stop and think, oh, I lost my spot. Let us stop and think of all that God has done for us. Let us remember all the times God has shown us his mercy and forgiveness. Make sure you guys are thumbsing up the live as you come in. Um, guys, <clears throat> um, let us also take some time to examine our own behavior. How many times in the past few weeks have we shown kindness to someone? Have we forgiven someone or shown them mercy? Have we hold on to anger? If we have failed in any of these things recently, perhaps we can take some time to do, do for others as God has done for us. When we remember God's goodness to us, it reminds us to show goodness to others. In recent years, I have, I'm sorry, in recent years, People in the Hindu use the word namaste quite a bit. The other day, I'm sorry, um, some people don't know what namaste means. So, according to many sources, it means I bow to the divine in you. Um, some people don't use it even some people don't know the meaning of it but as christians who believe that god created each one of us in his image and like likeliness we should should be able to see the divine in everyone and allow them to see the divine in us if we do that then it is so much easier to treat others with the same kindness mercy and goodness with with which gods treat us. So namaste, everyone. So I want everybody in the chat to write namaste 
because we're going to work, uh, we're going to show our divine power that God has in us. So that is the devotion for today. So please write. Namaste. I think I'm spelling it right. Namaste, everyone. Um, with this devotion, um, let's just answer some of these questions in the devotion. How many times in the past, uh, in the past three weeks, have we shown kindness to someone? Um, I, me, myself, I try my best to be kind to people every day. I try my best to treat the people the way I want to be treated because you don't know. You may, like I, we was talking yesterday, you may change someone day just by being kind or being considerate. So I oftentimes try to say please and thank you and um, ask people how you're doing. Good morning, Everyday Life with the Kelly Girls. Y'all make sure you thumbs up the live. Um, I just read a devotion about um, being kind to one another and working on our divine, um, the divine in us and how we should, uh, the um how we should treat others with kindness, mercy, and goodness with in which God treats us. So make sure, make sure that we are just just working on our inner self to treat people right, treat people with kindness. Don't be disrespectful to people. Don't don't treat people bad. Or just because they're not on the same level as you or they don't have the things that you have, still treat them with kindness. Sometimes I know people make you upset and you want to cuss them out. But guess what? Sometimes you just have to sit back and just say, you know what? You can have that. I'm going to just walk away. Before I step out of character, I will just walk away. So let's make sure that, you know, we do, we be kind to people. Let's make sure that, you know, if you want, thank you, Joseph Jabel. Um, so make sure that you are doing kind acts. Um, you see someone homeless, like I do it oftentimes. Like I seen a man like in the middle of nowhere. Um, he didn't have any, you know, he had a sign up, but at the time I didn't have no money, but if he was, if he, but usually I give, even if I, if it's two or three dollars in my pocket, it may be my, some, one time I gave my last five dollars, but guess what? I received that, that last five dollars, gave, gave that man my last five dollars. God blessed me. Good morning, positive mug banger. Okay. Um, what I was saying, um. I don't lost my train of thought, but as, as I was saying, um, I gave my last five dollars, and then a couple hours later, God blessed me with more than the five dollars. You know, so let's be kind, and I'm not saying to be used or taken advantage of, but what I'm saying is be kind, be considerate of other people. If you see someone that needs a hand, give them that hand. Right, right. Thank you, Everyday Life with Kelly Girls. Right. Um, the other question was, have we forgiven someone or shown them mercy? Um, yes. I have forgiven so many people. Make sure that you are forgiving people. I understand that sometimes it's hard to say, yes, I feel, yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, they have done me wrong or something like that. And you feel like, hey, you know, I can't forgive that action, but forgive them. Because you, so make sure you are working in your divine self, being your divine self and uh, showing people mercy and being forgiving of things. Now, I'm not saying that you have to deal with them again, but what I'm saying is forgive them and 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 know that, you know, sometimes people make mistakes and sometimes people do things out of anger that is not good because sometimes you have acted out of anger. So 
make sure that you are being a forgiving person. Um, uh, have you ever held on to anger? Make sure you're not holding on to anger, bitterness, jealousy. It's all coping. To, it all correlates together. Um, I have held on. Like I said, I told y'all my story about holding on to anger and how I was just like, uh oh, promise to train stuff. Sorry, y'all. Um, but I learned myself to let it go because it was it was it was making me not to be the person, not being, not being a kind person or a forgiving person. It, 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 it was coming off to me. I was coming off to being a negative person and people didn't want to be around me because of my negative vibe. So make sure you're not holding on to anger to release it. You will feel so much better. The person that you're angry with, they have moved on. So it's time for you to move on. Even if that means forgiving yourself and forgiving them, it's still time for you to move on. Um, that is the morning devotion talk. Um, um, like I said, namaste, everybody work on your divine, be your divine self, work on your divine. Um, I have some tips today. Um, uh, it was inspired, um, by pretty chocolate girl. She's going through something and, and, and my heart goes out to her and I hope that she is listening. Um, if not, I hope that she can go back and listen. But I just want to give out some tips. Um, she was very upset in Winston chat yesterday. So this inspired me to all of us to be in a perspective on how to deal with a um, relationship um, when a relationship has ended and how to deal with uh, someone just walking out on you or whatever. Um, so these are the daily tips on how to deal with a breakup or how to deal with, yeah, how to deal with a breakup, divorce, or an ending of a new relationship. These are some tips. Um, like I always tell you guys, the tips that I have, um, not only do I, I want you guys to apply, but I try to, I try my best to apply it to my everyday life as well. So um, we're going to get into these tips. Um, everyone put namaste in the chat. Um, so let's get into this. Um, okay, the first tip that I have is recognize that it is okay to have different feelings during the breakup. Um, I know many people are like, well, I'm in a relationship, but you know, some, but you never know what the future may hold, or you never know what may happen, or who may hear this and need this inspiration. So, you know, if you can give me some feedback on it and your um on what you feel about what I say, that is fine. Um, the first thing he says, recognize that it is okay to have different feelings. It is normal to feel sad, angry, exhausted, frustrated, and confused. And those feelings can come, can become overwhelming. You may think about your future and how you want to be able to deal with being alone, but know that you can accept the emotion and know that they will lessen over time. When because it can't even if it was an unhealthy relationship, so get uh, allow yourself to feel every emotion when it comes to dealing with any of the relationship. Um, make sure, you know if you want to cry it out, cry it out. If you want to scream it out, scream it out. If you want to get you on your knees and scream to God and pray it out, pray it out. Feel everything and then let it go over time. Your healing is going to come and you're going to recognize that what it, that, that person was there for a season and and to teach you something. Sometimes that what relationships are there. Uh, some people come to your life for just a season just to show you some things and recognize it. Um, so make sure you're feeling every emotion 
and make sure that you are getting whatever it needs out, crying it out, screaming it out. It's okay to be mad and things like that. But make sure, good morning, um, Anita. Uh, make sure you guys are thumbsing up the live. Um, so the first thing, guys, when it comes to dealing with the breakup, recognize that it is okay to have different feelings. Recognize that. You can be sad, angry, exhausted, frustrated, and you can be confused. You confused because, like, I know you be confused like, um, I'm a good person. What did I do to deserve for you to treat me this way and cheat on me and leave me for another woman or another man? And and um, you you just be confused. Like I'm a good person, and why I can't find you know why I can't find anyone that can treat me right. But you you we'll get on to the tips and I'll say more. But just feel the emotion, um, the different feelings that you have. It's okay to have those different feelings. You have the right to feel that way. Yes, you pray through it. You pray through it. Um, the second thing is give yourself a break. Um, give yourself time to heal. <laughs> Um, don't move on to the next relationship. Work on your healing. Give yourself permission to feel and function at a low period of time. You are not Superman. You are not Superwoman. You are not going to snap out of it like that. Um, you are using the new relationship as a clutch or, I'm sorry, and don't just jump into another relationship. Good morning. Pretty chocolate girl. <clears throat> I'm doing this for you. I'm um this was inspired by you. Um, I hope you don't get offended. I just, you know, this is inspired by you because we all been through different situations and I want to inspire you. So I hope this is, helps you to be inspired. Um, I did watch your video, I enjoyed it. Um, keep being strong. Um, keep being strong. Um Give yourself the second thing I was saying was give your the first thing I was saying, pretty chocolate girl, was recognize that it is okay to have different feelings. Um, make sure you know it's okay to feel sad, angry, exhausted, frustrated, and confused. And um you but think about your future and you're not going to always be alone, but know that you can accept the emotion and know they will lessen over time. Um, so the next thing is, second thing is give yourself a break. Um, give yourself time to heal. Don't move on to the next relationship. Work on your healing. Give yourself time, like I said, to feel and function at a low period of time. You are not a superwoman or a superman. You're not going to snap out of it fast as you think. You are using the new relationship, the relationship that you try to jump in fast into. You're going to use that relationship as a clutch to get over the previous relationship. So take your time to heal, regroup, and re-energize. So give yourself time to heal. Give yourself time to get over that relationship. Um Give yourself time to not to, uh, like I said, feel every emotion. Um, it's okay to feel low and down and not want to get up, not want to go to work, not want to be at work, not, not want to do nothing, just lay in the bed. But pick yourself up each day and try to do better. Um, pick yourself up knowing that you're going to heal. No, pick yourself up and say, I am going Yes. Okay. Well, okay. Um, pick yourself up knowing that whatever happened, it happened and that it is a learning experience. But at the end of the day, you don't want to jump into something new because you haven't healed from the old. Um, you haven't healed from the old jumping into something new. I, I've known someone 
uh, you as so right as they dated God, the Bible, Jesus Christ, thank God he sent me the one of me for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but, um, yes. Anita said, I went through it and I used to cry my heart. I had to realize that I am a strong woman. So I had to pray a whole lot until one day it was no longer there. My feelings for that person. Yes. Um, yes. Um, I had to do the same, Anita. I was like, Lord, whatever stronghold that this person has on my heart or has on my mind, Lord, release it. It's not good for me. It's not good for my health. It's not good for my emotions. It's not good for me at all. So I had to learn how to, um, I had to learn how to work on my healing. Um, everyday life with the Kelly girl said, you are so right. I had to pick up my Bible. I started dating God. I still believe in the word. And then God has sent me my husband. That's it. That's it. You have to ask God. You know, like not pray to God. Oh, send me a man that going to pay all my bills and uh, take care of me. No, no, no. What I'm saying is you ask God to send you some a soulmate. Ask God to send somebody that's going to be acceptive of you. Uh, be acceptive of the things that 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 he wants. The person that he designed, like they say, a person he designed just for you. Sometimes we think that the person that we have uh, built something with is that person. Sometimes it ain't. I'm doing good, Florida Williams. Good morning. Make sure you uh, thumbs up the live and uh, welcome to the, the, the uh, live. Well, good. You have a prayer box. Um, yes. Yeah, so, you know, we have to. Uh, we have to uh, recognize that. Give yourself a break. Give yourself time to heal. Like I'm gonna be honest. Like me, my last relationship, uh, I didn't jump into <clears throat> another relationship. And you know, I had, I was, I was when all of that ended. I was what, I was, um, I was, I was with a one year old and was pregnant, and I was going through, through it all. I felt all alone but I had God and then that's what that's the realization like I I'm gonna be honest when I was just when I when I was going through the breakup I used to lay my baby in the bed Jamel and I used to go and sit outside and I used to just cry I was used to just cry and I was like, why did he do me like this? Why did he sit up here and treat me like crap when I when I took care of you, when you were stabbed five times? I took care of you and a newborn baby, and you left me. You mistreated me. You tried to tear down my house. But thank God that I know today that he wasn't meant for me because anybody that does that, does not deserve me and so um i have i have i have and now you know i it's been three years later i know some people like three years but yes three years later and now because now because i was still going back and forth because i wasn't working on my healing see when you're going back and forth you can't work you can't work on your healing so what I I finally started working on my healing. I started asking God to remove whatever stronghold it was, and then I feel nothing, you know. And now, you know, after three years, I'm able to move on. Um, I'm able to move on, and I give y'all a little more of my story as I do these little tips. Um, um, the third thing is, don't go through it alone. Uh, tell someone how you are feeling while you're going through. Um, your family and friends can help you get through this time in your life that you are feeling down. Talk to people that want to also support your healing and that are encouraging you to do better. 
Don't sit at home and dwell on it and isolate yourself because it can raise your stress level and, and get in the way of your work, relationship with other people, and your health. So, um, so let's make sure, guys, that when you're going through a relationship, don't go through when you're going through a breakup or you're going through anything that heartbreaking. Um, don't go through it alone. Don't isolate yourself. Yes, yeah, she said that's what you have to do. Anita said that's what you have to do. You have to ask God to remove what I'm feeling for that person. Correct. Whatever's strong. She said, pretty chocolate girl. So I have y'all. I'm blessed today. I don't feel offended at all. Well, thank you. I don't want to offend anyone. When I'm doing these tips, man, it, it's not helping. It's not, it's not only helping y'all or whatever. It's helping me too because like, I don't know what's in the near future and I don't know what, uh, I, but I know what I have been through and I know my experiences with dealing with certain things. So, Hey, let's, let's drop some gin. Let's drop some nuggets. Let's be positive. So, <clears throat> Like, yes, um, but don't go through it alone. Um, you have friends and loved ones because guess what? Your family is your biggest support. Your family will they they will um some family members now. I'm talking about your mom and your sisters. They the one that will uh and some cousins will have an open heart to you. And some people they uh they some people are um. Uh, celebrate your 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 you being hurt um and they'll be like um okay thank you um so um uh oh I got the wrong one up um okay so don't go through it alone. I felt like when I was going through my situation, I went through it alone because I tried to keep on a strong face. Everybody's like, are you okay? Are you okay? And then I had a cousin. Thank God for her. You know, every time that I went through something or something traumatic happened, she always came. I always said, well, I'm going to come over to your house and she'll give me the, she'll give me, she'll sit there and listen to me and let me vent and let me say whatever I want to. And I thank my cousin for that because you know what I'm saying? That's that that's just letting me letting let it out. I you know, but I understand when you get in home alone and you don't and you you be like, Lord. Well, you uh yes, you happen to have a good support system. Pretty chocolate girl said, My mom, MJ, my mom passed, and I have no family. I have two beautiful daughters. Oh, well, I'm sorry about your mom passing, pretty chocolate girl, but you have us. And also, you number one, you have God. Pray, God. Like I said, like I watched your video before I came on here, and you said the, about the birds chirping. Those birds are your comfort keeper. They are the, your comforter. They're letting you know it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Keep pushing. Pick yourself up. Every day it's gonna get easier and easier and easier, and then you're able to move on from it and work on your healing and and be able to. When you see that person, they don't have no effect over you. Um, so you're not alone. You're never alone. The birds chirping was giving you comfort. Um, the third thing, I mean, the fourth thing is, um, um, is. Remind yourself you still have a future. When you commit to another person, you do have hopes and dreams for a life together. After a breakup, it is hard to let these aspirations go. Um, as you grieve about the relationship ending and it's not being what you envisioned, be encouraged to know that you can create new hopes and new dreams. So just be what this is saying is um, when you're in a relationship, yes, you'd be laying there talking about what all you want to do. And, and you know, you, you, you do dream about it. You think about like, yes, we're going to get married. We're going to, uh, 
we're going to have a big house. We're going to have a beautiful family and we're going to, um, we're going to just be happy together. And then when it doesn't work out that way, and then it's a terrible breakup. And then you're like, oh my God, man, I cannot believe that this is happening to me. I thought that we was going to be together forever. I thought we were going to be a family. And let me tell you, I when I was going through the situation that I was going through, I felt the same thing. I was like, I want to give my kids something that I never had. I never had my dad in the home with me all the time. I never, you know, my dad was, my dad was a great father. My dad was a great father. But my mom and dad wasn't together. And I'm like, you know, it's a lot of kids that grow up in this world that doesn't have a father in their home that's being an example to them and all that. So I said, you know, I want my kids. And, you know, that was my dream. I was like, I want to be married with kids. But it didn't work out like that. I'm a single mother with kids, but I love my kids. And I'm glad that I didn't choose that. And God didn't. And I recognized the lie. And I had to move on from that situation. So, but my future is so bright. I my future is so bright. You have to recognize that you can your your future is is going even if it's just you and your children or whatever or you and your you yourself. Your you can dream up uh, uh you can dream up aspirations with yourself and things you want to accomplish. Um, you still have a future. You know what I'm saying? Just because that person is gone does not mean that you're not going to be able to accomplish anything. It, I just look at it like this. I had to learn this. This person was not meant for me. This person was not meant to, to be a part of my journey. Um, so... So let's just know that you still have a future. Um, I know that, you know, sometimes like having that extra income or whatever, you know, with them paying the bills or whatever, but sometimes you just have to do what you got to do. That means get on, get up, put your big girl drawers on and do what you got to do. That means pay every bill, take care of the children, take care of yourself and do what you got to do. But guess what? God will handle the rest. Whatever you need, God will handle it. So that's the fourth thing. So the first, um, I'm going to have to go back because I don't want you to forget. Um, recognize that it is okay to have different feelings. Um, give yourself a break. Don't go through it alone. Remind yourself that you still have a future. Okay. So the fifth thing is turn your loss into a learning experience. You cannot change the past. Let me tell you, you cannot change how that person done you. You cannot change that. You cannot change how you allow someone to abuse you or verbally attack you. You cannot change that. And you can't change that the relationship is over. You can't change that. If it's over, it's over. Move on from it. But learn from the experience and learn that you will not accept the things that you accepted in that relationship. I, I, I'm going to be honest, like now, like I'm talking to somebody now, the things I, I let them know, look, if you're playing both sides, boo, you can go ahead on because I ain't going to deal with it. If you're going to entertain other females, go ahead on with it because I ain't going to deal with it. If you feel the need to think that I'm just because I'm a big girl that I'm going to sit up here and give you my money that I work hard for, go ahead on with that. I ain't going to rush into no relationship with you. <laughs> so if you can't accept that, go ahead on with that. I'm I'm being real and this and 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 that person can tell you I don't say everything what I'm telling y'all I told them that I'm not fin to deal with nobody I tell them I'm not fin to deal with nobody that ain't right if you ain't right I will dismiss you just as quick as I met you so hey I'm 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 learning that <laughs> I'm like if you ain't right if you got some negative spirits 
Cause like I'm gonna tell y'all like yesterday, um, I guess it was I guess it was just this week has been like the 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 exes return or the ones I used to talk to return the ones that I just say you know one guy he called what's up Monica hey oh uh, how you doing fine um you know who I am no I don't oh you don't know who I am we used to talk back in the day blah 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 like okay they was like oh uh. uh well, uh, is you still working? I was like, why? He was like, well, you know what I'm saying? You still in too low. You got a man? I said, I am currently talking to someone. Oh, well, uh, I'll call you back. I t well, I'll just call and check on you. See, I'm like, what the what? I know I'm off subject, but <laughs> I'm like, you ain't, because the reason why I started talking because he was cussing too much. He was just cussing too much, and it was coming um, unattractive. And he just didn't have nothing nice to say. It was always negative, negative, negative. So I was like, uh, 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 -uh. go on, bye, get away from me, devil. <laughs> so uh, 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 uh. I was like, I don't even. I, you know what I'm saying? You know how you be like some people? You just put out your mind because you know you just had a conversation with them. You weren't really trying to build nothing with them, but you know what I'm saying. Like then they all of a sudden they show about the blue and you like okay uh 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 I'm like baby please but yes um make sure that you turn your things your let me get back on the subject because like y'all I can just talk about some of the craziness that I go through in my inbox on uh Facebook be something serious and I'm a we got like 20 minutes. I'll say this. Men, some of these men do not have a good pickup line. They do not have a good pickup line. Um, uh, they just I'm gonna let me let me go like hey, someone thought something me the thumbs up one time. I'm like, okay. Um, come on, if you want to speak to a woman. If you want to talk to a woman, and I know that this ain't got nothing to do with the breakup, make sure you come to a woman correct. Don't come to a woman talking about a thumbs up. What a thumbs up got to do with anything? Oh, you look pretty today. Thumbs up. You know? <laughs> or, what's hello? Hey. Um, it, it, it is crazy about... It is crazy about how these, these men, women, whatever... Come into your chat, I mean, not your chat, your inbox, and just put anything. Um, what did I get? Uh, let me see. Hello, yeah, hello, how are you? What you doing? I don't even know you, but you said asking me what I'm doing. Hello, good morning. Hello, how are you? Hello, uh uh, bye. You ain't talking about nothing, you ain't even, you ain't uh uh, no, so. Make sure whatever you go through, take it as a learning experience and learn what not to do and what not to accept. Uh, just don't accept the things that you in that previous relationship don't accept it. Yes, the way a man approach you is the type of man he is, and that's true. If he ain't approaching you, talking about baby, cause like I'm like. I know I have tried the dating website, but then I get me. I'm so, like I said, I'm so, I guess they say I'm still working with my healer, whatever. I'm like, nope, you look like a woman beetle. Nope. You, you, you got goals in your mouth. I don't understand people goals in your mouth to be okay, but I was like, nope, you don't, you, you don't look right. Nope. Um, you look like you a woman beetle again. Nope. Uh, you, uh, look like you verbally abusive. Nope. And I'm like, uh, -uh nope. So I I said I'm a I didn't I didn't even try that no more. So y'all look pray for me because I don't, I do everybody suspect in my eye. <laughs> everybody suspect in my eye. um so guys like I was saying with this um a uh the first thing is recognize that it is okay to to have different feelings to give yourself a break three don't go through it alone. Um, four, remind yourself that you still have a future. And five, turn your loss into a learning experience. 
Um, be patient. Be patient with yourself. I know that is hard because sometimes we get lonely. And we we just want someone to make you feel good and someone to talk to. But please know that you do not have to rush to get into a relationship. Be patient. Be patient with yourself. Work on yourself. Work on your healing. And when it's time for a man to come along, he will. Because God's going to put him in a place for you to recognize him. Yes. Be patient with yourself. Work on your healing. Work on, uh, <clears throat> um, work on, like, work on your self-esteem. Because let me tell you, sometimes your self-esteem can be low to where you can accept things that you don't have to accept. I'm telling that to myself. Like, I have, yes, like Anita, Anita stated, when God sees you, your Boaz, uh, you will be able to see nothing but their true heart and spirit, right? If their heart is right and their spirit is right, you're going to feel it and you're going to know. Some people, I'm going to be honest, like some um God will show you a sign when it comes to people and they show you who they are. I remember one time I um I was on Positive Mug Bangers, uh I was on Positive Mug Bangers Live and a lady was talking about how to deal with the breakup and how to deal uh, with a man that ain't right or whatever. And I told him, I said, Well, my mom always told me, first you got to recognize the lie. And what that means is the lie. What is they trying to project to you? What lie is they telling to try to get with you? What what are they saying that ain't right? And realize that no man is perfect. But if if he's saying one thing, but you, but his actions are saying something else, that's a lie. He ain't who he say he is. If if um. I'm, honestly, he ain't who he say he is. Recognize the lie and realize that, hey, I ain't got to deal with you, bruh. Uh, I don't have to deal with you. You have to rec I, I, you know, when my mom used to tell me, I'm like, mom, what you mean? Recognize the lie. But now that I know what she's talking about, when you get on, let me tell you something. Because I done called out this, this dude right here that you know, I'm conversating with. I don't count him. I'm like, you tell on yourself. I said, that's your problem. You talk too much. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest and I'm gonna be real. You talk too much. And I said, you uh you tell on yourself. I said that's how you when you open your mind and you, you have an open mind, you can recognize the lie. Um, you can recognize like, okay, um, he said, Well, you know, um, uh yeah, you know, I uh I do this and do this and do that. I, I'm a homebody. I don't do nothing. But then next thing you know, oh, I'm finna go to the pool hall and do this and this and that. Oh, I thought you was a homebody. You don't do nothing. Recognize the lie. Um. So yes, don't feel lonely. And then you know I and don't have the, you know the breakup sex. You know the breakup sex where um. You know. I ain't going to lie. The breakup says where they come to you and be like, we still can be friends and we still can, um, let's just, you know, we can have sex. But this, but it, us as women and some men, um, we, like me, I carry my heart on my sleeve. If I love you, I love you. If I want to be with you, I want to be with you. So, so like I say, sex complicate your mind. Sex do complicate your mind, and in and the person, other person's mind is just sex. But in your mind, this is us getting back together. But this person is like, no, I'm just we friends. We just hey, we just getting it in. So, um, 
So yes, like don't have that. Don't have. Don't go back and have sex because it sex will complicate your judgment. It will. It will complicate your judgment, and you will hurt yourself more by doing that. Um. Also, as well, you need to con cut off all contact. Cut off all contact with the person. Get off social media. Block them on your phone. Because uh, the more and more you look at them, the more and more you're not getting over it. If you on social media, you friend with them on social media, then that means that, uh, oh, you can look at their page and stalk their page or whatever. So it's, it's so much to that. Um, you know, but just work on your healing. Work on yourself. Work on just being a better you. And learn how to learn from the experience. Learn that you don't have to accept the things that you accepted from that previous relationship. Me too, Anita. And I ain't like I like I said, I'm not in no rush to have it. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have other things that you focus on, I I promise you, you ain't got time. Like me, I have two children. I am a mom with two children and um I work and I do YouTube all day and I have to clean up the house. I have to do feed them and I have to have a son that had to do stuff like I have a son like Jamel, he goes to speech and he has occupational therapy. So I have to take him there. So when you're focused on when you're focused on yourself and building yourself up and building up who you are that'd be the last thing on your mind because really you too focus on trying to you're putting your focus on other things besides that don't focus your mind on sex let me tell you something i already let them know i ain't having sex the first time i meet you i ain't finna do it you got to get i got to get to know you all these let me tell you something all these negative spirits, all the people, people be, that's what they say. People put in, in, when you're having sex with someone, they're putting their spirit in you. So if you're putting a bad spirit in you, uh-uh. Some people don't believe that, but I believe that. I believe that. Like I said, if I can tell my story, if I can tell, oof, but I know that people are watching and people that I don't want this to come back to my children in a negative way. Um, so I have to limit some of the things, things that my, that I say. Um, um, Anita said, "Waiting on God to seem the right person, once than a husband." Right, 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 right. Like, don't have clouded judgment. Sex will cloud your judgment. Laying down with the different people, like, and introducing different people to your children is not good. Like me, yes, I do. But you know what? I take it with I take it with stride because I know that my son getting the help he needs. Like, um, if you have never had, like I said, God bless me with him. So I'm going to take care of him. And he is, he has ADHD and he could be autistic and he has a speech impediment. Though I said, I know, like I was talking to Joseph and Tremel. I was talking to Joseph. No, no. I was talking to Joseph, Tremel and Joseph, but I was really talking to Tremel. Um, well, I'm talking to both of them. They both was on the phone. Um, and I was telling him that I didn't want people to judge my son because my son has a speech problem. And he was like, girl, your son is fine. Your son is, you could bet, you don't, and then he was like, you don't know who you were inspiring. You don't know who you were inspiring to have a son that has a speech problem and autistic and ADHD. He is not diagnosed with autism, but I know is more than ADHD because Jamel has done things that y'all would not know behind the scenes. So, um, but I know for sure that my son is ADHD and he does have a speech problem. Um, so I have to do what is best for him and getting him 
to a place where he's successful. Like I'm not claiming my son's going to be stuck at this place forever. And I'm not professing it. When the next video come out, y'all will see, um, y'all will see Jamel's pre-K celebration. We're celebrating Jamel graduating from pre-K. He is a big boy. And, um, but um, he has came a long way from what he started beginning of this year when we beginning of last year when school started, when we was having so many problems with trying to get him some help and trying to figure out why he didn't understand something. My child like going to school. And I don't mean to gear this towards my me and my kids, but my child, he liked going to school, but he didn't, he was just in the classroom not learning because he didn't understand and he couldn't sit still enough to learn. Yes, yes, yes. He makes me proud now. He loves playing. Like that's why I said when y'all see him getting in and out the video, it's not, it's not that, you know what I'm saying? Cause some people like, I ain't gonna lie, he be at Walmart sometimes. Make me so mad. <laughs> he be at Walmart rolling on the floor. And you know, we got this corona this virus, and I'm like, you know, but I know that's just him. But anyway, y'all, it's like nine minutes left. So let's recap. Let's recap so we can end this. Um, um so the first thing is to uh, about let's recap about the tips. Let's recognize that it is okay to have a different feeling. Give yourself a break. Um, don't go through it alone. Remind yourself that you still have a future. Turn your loss into a learning experience. Um, be patient. Um, so make sure you guys are taking those tips and let's apply it to our everyday situation. Um, um, we, uh, we dealing with a breakup is hard, and you have you do go through so many emotions. I I I know I did so. I learned how to use focus that energy on something else to grow and to become a better you. Um, so um, it is eight minutes left before we end this thing um, because I do want to get an hour in, y'all. So if anybody have any questions or want to say anything in the chat, let me know. Um, like I said, Saturday morning i will be going i will be going to um my mom will be collabing with me because she's getting ready to uh launch her youtube page and i want you guys to go over there now my mom she is her page is directly going to be about um her page is going to be about um it's it's going to be about god Honestly, because that's all what she's she's about. God is all about positive. It's all about it's going to be called. She says it's going to be called Barbara's Good News. So when she's a launch, I want everybody to go and connect with her and give her support. Um, you know, so um, and as well, guys, um, I am coming out with another video today if I can edit it. Oh, I thank you, thank you. I enjoy y'all every day. Y'all just don't know. I look forward to getting up. Like I put forth like this, these tips, these tips. Like I put forth effort. Like I, I, I sit here and I think it out. You know, dealing, then dealing with like yesterday when my internet went out. Like I didn't do my tips before, so my internet went out and I couldn't. You know. I was I was just upset and I was like, I got to do these tips. So I sat here late last night doing those tips because I know that there's a message. There's a message in this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yes, 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 yes. I was like, I was so upset when my internet went out. Hey Lynn. Good morning, Lynn. Y'all, Lynn, when I, Lynn, I'm sorry. I didn't get to complete your live with you. Look, my internet went out yesterday. My internet went out because of y'all nieces and nephews, and the internet popped back on yesterday. So your nieces, y'all need to come get your niece and nephew because they about to run me up out this house. I'm about to go on a whole vacation, leave them with my mom. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Um. Uh, 
Uh, look, but I first the Verona got to go. Verona got to go first though. Um, but yes, y'all connect to Kingdom Lynn. She do go live. She do have a lot of Lynn have a lot of things to say about relationship and things like that. Um, she she always keep it real. Every time that Lynn, I watch Lynn videos and things like that, she keep it real. Same thing for Winston. Same thing for, for Tramel and Joseph. Tramel and Joseph, y'all, y'all can need to watch Tramel and Joseph's um latest video. They have a car chat. And it was so real, it was funny, and it was real, and it was just it opened your eyes and put you in a different perspective. And it made and and you like you cannot you cannot like I'm in home, Tramel and Joseph, they're just likable people. Like it's so they're not hard to like, they're so funny, and they like to me they crazy. But I love them both. They are they so different in their own little way, but I like them both. So y'all check them out. Once the heat is also a great person to connect with. Um, he helps me a lot. And he's like, he's like another brother to me as well as Tramel and Joseph. Um, Winston, he, um, he do prayer. If you need prayer in the mornings after this, we're going to go to Winston because you know what I'm saying? We're going to keep the positive movement going. Um, and, um, and he always has us see real things happening and some and on his live and he speaks on it. And so he just he just a good guy as well. So let's let's just keep the positive movement going, guys. Don't let anything or anyone steal your joy. Uh I'm th uh tomorrow I'm thinking of some tips to do. Um uh, I don't know what I'm going to do at this moment because it hasn't popped in my head yet. But if you have any idea, want me to speak on something or speak on any type of tips or anything like that, there is my email address. Um, you can connect with me if you want me to speak on what type of tips would be good tips to take, think about. I like to take other people's opinion. I'm not one of those people that or upset because someone criticized me or wants me to say something, not say something, but criticism, constructive criticism. So that is my email address, guys. Um, So make sure we are having a good day, guys. Uh, okay. Lynn said, I was watching on the TV while I was cooking breakfast, but you can't come in on the TV. But I heard you say eight minutes left, so I can't listen. Thank you so much, Lynn. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Y'all, my internet was out, so I'm going to be supporting everyone today. Um, last night, I was supposed to be watching a lot of videos, but I became so exhausted from the internet being messed up, me trying to fix the internet, me still trying to do the Jamel pre-K birthday party, and then still trying to... <laughs> And then still trying to uh, support and phone wasn't working right. Like the devil was just busy on me yesterday. I don't know why it was so hard for me to get internet last yesterday. I said, I guess God was just giving me a break. And then I called come K S Finity. I couldn't get in contact with S Finity. It was just a bad, it made me be upset. But then I said, you know what, Monica? I said, the devil, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna stop my joy. You ain't gonna steal it. And I said, my morning chat, if I had to do it on my phone, I'm gonna do it. I said, I'm gonna do Monica's tips on my phone. Um, so hey Bacon with Charlene. Make sure you guys are thumbsing up the live as you come in. Thank you for coming, guys. Like I said, you each and every one of you guys are great content creators. Um, no one uh no matter what anyone says, it may, you know, your sometimes your message is not for the person that's criticizing you or speaking negative of you. Your your message may be for someone else that is supportive of you and understands what you're saying. And you may be inspiring them, inspiring them to of the things that you're saying. So um, I would like to thank each and every one of you guys. We're going to wrap this up. Um, I'd like to thank each and every one of you guys for coming on to this channel. I mean, on um, Monica Daily Tips. I don't know what tips I'm going to do tomorrow, y'all, but please know I'm going to have some kind of tips about something. I wanted to encourage Pretty Chocolate Girl. Keep stay, keep stay prayed up. You're going to be okay. 
It's going gonna, it's gonna, to, whatever God has for you is for you and can't nobody turn that around. So, um, we're going to get ready. Um, we're going to get ready to keep the positive movement going. Um, just waiting for him to come live because I feel like, you know, um, this positive, when you're having a positive mind or a positive atmosphere, this would be a great way to keep your positive atmosphere going. Um, Lynn, are you going live again? <coughs> Lynn, are you going live again? That is it's me, Wanstead. So, guys, it is 8 a.m. Um, Wanstead is going live. Um, and I'm just waiting for him to come live. Um, I don't know why he hasn't went live yet, but I know he's coming. Hold on. Um, he hasn't went live yet, so we're going to stay here a little bit and talk. Okay, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come to your live, man. Okay. Well, when you go live, I, I, I'm gonna come and um, support you. Um, you're very supportive, y'all. Lynn, I'm, I like Lynn. Lynn, Lynn like Lynn cracked me up, but Lynn keep it real too. She just, she has, she says what she, she always herself. Like always, always be yourself on here, guys. Always, always, always be yourself on here. Um. So. I'm trying to wait on Winston. Let me see if he's done made it on the chat. Um, yes. So Winston is live now. So I'm going to go ahead and put his link in the chat. Um, make sure you guys, if you have not connected to Winston, connect to Winston. We're going to keep this positive movement going. Just put hashtag MJ Ray. Um, hashtag MJ Ray. And y'all have a good positive day. And like I stated, make sure you guys are great content creators. Don't never let no one make you feel like you're not. So um, y'all have a wonderful day. And I'll see y'all in the morning. Goodbye, my tipsters.